The chip seal is a way that we can preserve the pavement that we have. Uh, you put down the pavement, within a few years you'll start to see uh, discrepancies, you'll get cracks, you'll start to get potholes. What the chip seal does is give a non-skid wearing surface to that pavement. Um, it seals the cracks as well as uh, uh, provides a, a safe, as I said, non-skid surface. What we're using today is a 3 8 inch chip because we put oil down and then we want this, this single layer of rock to, to be all there is. Um, and that's why we call them chips because we actually ask for the vendor to chip them up to a certain size. And if you notice the chips were wet, um, the reason being is because we want to get as much dirt and dust off that. So when we put it down on that road and in that oil, it is as clean a chip as possible. For the money that you spend on a chip seal, it's a, it's a very good at preserving the existing pavement. Um, you know, you'll get seven more years out of a pavement, uh, typically when you chip seal it, if you, you do all your steps right. The crew will come out, they'll sweep the pavement. Uh, once it's swept, they'll put an oil down. That oil is where we put our chips, and it's emulsion. The, the emulsion is a mixture of, it's actually a phenomenon because water and oil don't mix. Because of emulsifying agents mixed with it, it does allow it to mix. So it's fluid enough that you can put down a nice layer on the pavement. As the water evaporates, it leaves the sticky surface, and that's what we put the chips on top of. As that oil cools down, that water is going to start evaporating, and what you're going to see, instead of it being brown, it turns black. Once it turns black, that's the signal it's ready to have chips put on it. And then the chip spreaders start doing what they do. They pull up to that spot and they start laying their layer of chips on there. The chip spreader will move down the road with the dump truck attached to it. They actually lock onto it. When they lock up, the chip spreader has control. He is pulling that truck along. At that point, the only thing that driver needs to do is keep that chip spreader lined up with a certain spot in his mirror with, uh, against that chip spreader. Once he has dumped all his chips into the hopper and there's a guy on the back telling him when to pull up, when to drop down, uh, they release him. Basically, they pull away from him, he pulls off the road, the next one backs up to the chip spreader and it starts all over again. Once the chip spreader gets chips down, you're going to see the rollers get into the picture. The first thing are the pneumatic rollers. These are the, the rubber tire rollers. Their design is to fill the highs and the lows and make sure those chips get seated in there. Behind them are the steel wheel rollers. Steel wheel rollers are, are to seed it real well. Now the steel wheel does what it does best, and that's to permanently seed that rock in place. So like one out of every 10 rocks is a loose rock. So they'll come in and they'll sweep that up to get those little rocks so you don't be like driving down a gravel road. It'll be a good uh, paved surface. And we focus on roads that have uh, a lot of traffic. I mean, today we're out here on upriver, which, which certainly has a lot of traffic. And those are the roads that we need to preserve. For instance, this one right next to the river, it has a tendency in the wintertime to, to freeze over or get frost on it uh, fairly quick. So if the surface is wearing down, if it's starting to get smooth, uh, it's important to put that chip seal on it because it does provide a non-skid wearing surface, which is safer and it has a, a, a big difference as far as your braking ability and uh, handling of the vehicles.